Wait, is that? My screwdriver. I've been looking everywhere for it. Grandpa, did you put my screwdriver in the trash? Oh yeah, I forgot I did that. Well, I've been looking for it for hours. I needed it for my new gun. That gun probably won't work anyway, considering it's made of wood. Hey, I'll have you know, it's not just made of wood. It's made of metal a little. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm finna go back to bed. Who the hell took my banana? Oh, that was yours? Of course it was mine. I put my name on it. Sorry, I didn't see it. You stupid green ass thing. You know better than that. <laughs> oh. I feel bad, but I'm glad I'm not him at the same time. much i just wanted to talk to you about something if this is about the christmas presents i promise i'll buy one for everybody this time oh it's not about that it's about someone i might have been thinking about are you trying to tell me about how you have feelings for diddy wait you know did candy tell you calm down she didn't tell me anything i can tell all the signs whenever you talk to him are they that obvious you blush when you're around him you stare your words you always compliment him and you stare at him for over an hour one time well, when you play like that, it seems like everyone knows. Maybe he might know. Well, probably not everybody. And I'm sure Diddy has no idea, which gives you a better reason to tell him that you like him. I don't know. What if he doesn't feel the same way? Possibly, or he could possibly like you back. You'll never know unless you tell him. Well, you could be right. He has showed many signs. Maybe he does feel the same way. See, now that's the spirit. Besides, you two make a great couple, and I'm pretty sure when you tell him, he'll ask you out on a date. So did you ask Dixie out? Are we seriously starting the day like this? Yeah, I want to know if you asked Grout yet. <sighs> well, if you must know, I didn't. Well, that's not surprising, Bart. Let me finish. But we did went to look up at the sky after the fashion show. Well, that sounded good. Nah, kind of sounded boring, Bart. Well, what would be a good idea to you? Take her back off that we drank a little bit, Nasa. I'm not trying to have a one-night stand with her. It's not like it's quick and scholar. Just take her out the next time. Then take her back to your place as iron bar. Gee, imagine all the women coming back to gang up on you. What are you three talking about? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry, Uncle DK. I'm pretty sure they know I like Dixie since it's so obvious. Wait, you have a crush on our cousin? And you both didn't know that. Well, we do now. I honestly had no idea. Why? He blushes when he's around her. He talks about her almost any chance to guts. Hey, even dangerous about the little one. Please stop talking. So is this me you're gonna ask her out? That would have been true the lot done it by now. Wait, you haven't asked her out yet? No, I'm too scared. Why? It's not like it's hard. Well, some people have a hard time telling someone they like them. This guy who's 14 in my school asked a girl like it was nothing. Wow, this sixter, he's been too much of a pussy when he tries to cop him out. Uh, it's okay you're scared, Diddy. You don't have to ask her out until you're ready. This is coming from the guy who asked someone to go outside with him when it's dark. It was 12 a.m. and I'm with my cab outside. Hey everyone, what are you all talking about? We won't talk about eating much. You know, like someone has a crutch on someone or something. Chunky, shut up. Well, that's good. Me and Dixie want to know what's up. And that she want to tell Diddy something important. Um, no I don't. Dixie, come on. We talked about this earlier. <sighs> okay. Actually, Diddy has something important to say to Dixie first. No I don't. Come on, little buddy. This is your chance. Yeah, so stop being a pussy and grow away, Paramount. Okay. Dixie? I'd like to know, if you're not busy tomorrow, would you like to... Good morning, everyone. I have an important announcement to tell you all. Um, I was in the middle of something right now. It's probably not more important than what I have to say. Actually, it was. We'll then discuss it another time. Anyway, I just got a call from someone saying they would like to host a boxing match here. And you obviously said yes. You seem corrected. Also, I sent you seven of best participants. 
Well, that sounds like fun. Getting your teeth knocked out and seeing blood everywhere doesn't really sound like fun. Well, look on the bright side. Well, I'll get good exercise out of this. And the bunch of bruises, are smart. Can Kitty not be in it? He's just a little kid. Hey, don't take me out of this. It sounds like fun. But Kitty, you might get hurt. I literally beat you in a fight a few times. I'm pretty sure boxing shouldn't be any different. He'd be a big liar like you. No, I just had a lot to drink that day. You said you only ate popcorn that day. No, I didn't. I said I drank popcorn. You can't drink popcorn, Chunky. No, if you don't blend it. That's not how it works, Chunky. Anyway, we will meet in the gym area at 1 and make sure to bring plenty of water with you as well. Can I just sit this one out? I really don't feel like getting my hands dirty. Sorry, but you all must participate in one round in order to sit down. Ugh, fine. Hopefully none of us end up in the hospital. It's a box of my twat. Of course some of us are going to end up in the hospital. <laughs> Ugh, there's something good on TV nowadays. Maybe there's something good on FX. Oh, God damn it! Your Majesty, we have something really important to tell you. What the hell did you guys get in here? I parents shot myself anyway. And without my permission, I don't still became stupid like half of my soldiers. They better have a good reason as to why they left their asses here. It was a last minute thing. Now we need to tell you about this boxing match we hear about. Last minute thing in my ass. Also, why would I be interested in a boxing match? Because the winner of a boxing match get big burger. The winner gets a big metal belt, dumbass. Ooh. Cause the big burger with fries. How the hell did you get burgers and a metal belt mixed up? I still found the city why this one interests me. Because we heard DK and his friends would be there participating in the boxing match. Whoa, well, no, I'm interested. They say online it's Swinky and some other guys hosting at a gym, and from what it looks like, that belt is made of gold. We also heard it's worth over $300,000. $300,000? Ooh, imagine how much I can spend with that money. I can. I'm going to be able to afford my own clubhouse. I'm going to buy a bunch of new outfits. I heard they have Winter's Collection in. I'm going to try to see if I can get GTA 6 early. I know they have it ready. Clutch hope they have on gym when Clutch gets share of money. Yeah, too bad you're all getting very little. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, I need most of that money to pay off the people who made this new weapon for me. It's almost fair so I need the money. Oh, come on! That's not fair! Yeah, and you already have money. You're the literal king of the island for crying out loud. I also have an army full of criminals, critters, and who knows what else. You'd be surprised why I have left over after paying them. But we're the ones who found this for you. Without us, you would've been just sitting here eating fries and burgers. Please, I would've found out on my own. I don't need your bright ass as much. Well, then I guess you won't need us to figure out how to get in. Wait, what? Yeah, there are a bunch of things you have to do before you even get into the boxing match. And believe me, it's hard to even find a page online. Yeah, it'll probably take you an hour to find a page so you can sign up. And the boxing match is today. <sighs> do one or you have the page? That depends. What do you have to offer? Okay, look. If you give me the information on how to sign up, I'll give you for $100,000 out of the prize. You promise? I... Promise. Now just give me the damn info. Okay, here's what you need to do. Whoa, this place looks really great, Mr. Swanky. Thank you. This is built by one of the best construction crew on the island. Can you build me a place with trampolines everywhere? You will need to have over a hundred thousand dollars for that to happen, kid. So when does the boxing match start? It'll start all nine minutes, Mods. But first thing to wait on the other part is about the gear. Wait, someone else is coming here? Yes, he signed up to be on your team. I think you all know who it is. Is it because of water? Uh, no, that wasn't even close. It's the best surfer on the island. Funky! Hey, Funky, I thought you were busy with fixing a plane. I got finished with it early. It was like nothing, bro. Well, can you come by and fix my shower? The hot water's off for some reason. Yeah, dude. No one likes to shower in cold water. Chunky did when he didn't know how to work the shower. It was hard to figure out. Oh, really? Didn't know learning how to turn a handle left or right would take so much work. Anyway, who are we fighting against? Well, I'm just glad you all find that out for yourselves. What do you mean? Uh, hello? Is this the boxing match place? Seriously, why couldn't you just put the location on the page? My apologies. Someone must have forgot to put it on the site. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Why are they here? Well, they are here as participants for the boxing match. What? There's very bit of mushrooms making me hallucinate. Why the hell are you letting them be in the boxing match after all they've done to us? Yeah, it was bad enough they were in a fashion show. Now we have to deal with them like this? 
Sorry, I'm sorry, but they already signed up, so there's nothing I can do. Besides, there were one group that was supposed to be here, but they got into a very bad accident and left them with severe injuries, so they had to stay in the hospital for about two months. Huh, I wonder how that happened. Well, can't you choose another team? Yeah, there has to be some other wrestling team somewhere. Unfortunately, there is any available. If you all think about dropping out, you can't, because you have to compete at least one round. Not to mention that you signed a page. Ugh, this sucks. I agree with the little dude. This blows. Alright, everyone. Since we can't get Carol and his team out of the competition, we might as well beat them. No, who wants to go first at punching the punching bag? I don't know. I'm not sure I want to hurt anyone. Even them. Chunky, they kidnapped Diddy and Dixie, they said we're about to try and kill us, and now they're in a boxing match where they can try to beat us up. You shouldn't feel bad about them. I know, but it's still wrong to hurt someone. It's not wrong if they started it first. Um, guys, remember the punching bag? Oh yeah, I'll go first. <laughs> so how was that? That was awesome. Yeah, I didn't think a little dude like you could hit that hard. Thanks, it didn't feel that hard much. I guess you won't have that much problems in the boxing match then. So who wants to go next? How about you go, Chunky? Wait, what? Oh yeah, you go, Chunky. I'm not sure. I still don't want to hurry one. Come on, Chunky, you have to do this. Besides, this is just practice, and you're just hitting an object. Yeah, you're the biggest liar on our team, so get your bloody hand to guard. Okay, I guess. Don't worry, Chunky, you just have to hit one time. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I did it! See, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> uh... You okay, bro? Uh, yeah, but my head kinda hurts. Hmm, wonder if the hell an organ read a lot smarter. And wonder if brushing your teeth more than once a month helps your breath. Okay, does anyone got any ideas on chewing? Shouldn't clergy you know this train? It's boxing, so I'm just taking a calculus class. There are any ideas on how to get those cones out of our way? How about we drug them? They can compete if they test it for steroids. That's not bad, but it'll be hard, and we don't have time for that. How about we use male boxing gloves? They'll be bruised too bad, and we'll win. As much as I would love to do that, we can't, because it's against the rules. Ugh, lame. I don't think we can cheat this time, your majesty. Yes, we can. You idiots just aren't thinking hard enough. Let's see. Maybe we can see the weapon in, but they probably check us. Or we can put sadness in their food, but they may not eat it right now. Uh, maybe that's something we can do. We all might as well just train. Great, now why don't you go get the boxing gloves? Who the hell put you in charge? Wait, that's it! What are you talking about, your highness? We make our gloves bigger, so that way we can get the upper hand, beat their asses, and then claim the prize and sell it for money! It's genius! Well, it does sound smart enough to work. Yeah, and there's no rules that say we can have bigger boxing gloves. Clinton team winning boxing competition would go better than fashion show. Oh, thank you for reminding us of that law, stupid. Oh, Clinton didn't mean to. This is one of the reasons why we tell you to talk less. How was that, Matt? No offense, but that wasn't good. Or oh, that was a rip apart, Matt. Nah, that really suck. It wasn't like the WWE punch, dude. Yeah, it was more like one of those kid punches. You may have just jelly at my punches. No, we're really not. You know, this reminds me of that time when Chungi said he can play basketball and accidentally throw the ball over the goal. <laughs> that would have been fun to see. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go see if they have a snack here. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll see you later too. Man, we've been getting along well. Maybe I should ask her out. She seems like she'll say yes. Yeah, and you should probably do it now. Were you seriously spying on us, Uncle DK? No, I listened for two minutes. That's literally how long we were talking. Oh, do I say two minutes? I meant 30 seconds. Eh, this is why I don't talk to you about this type of stuff. Okay, now when will the stuff we need for the gloves get here? The stuff will be here in 30 minutes, Your Highness. What? The boxing match starts in 15 minutes! I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but the other men say it'll take a while since they're traveling on the boat. Well, it's not like they're walking. They need to gear up faster so I can be the living takeaway out of those furry assholes. I think I'm gonna go where the food is. Ooh, there's gum. I hope I can reach it. Hmm. <laughs> thought there'd be more food than this. Yeah, I thought it would be at least a little bigger than this. Yeah, but there's a cake here. Hope the taste makes up for this disappointment. It probably does, but I'm only here for the gum. Oh, you are? Well, here you go. 
Thanks. That was nice of you. No problem. The name's Kip. Dixie. Also, your name sounds kind of cute. Thanks. Your name sounds pretty. <laughs> Thanks. Huh? <laughs> that sounds fun. Of course it's fun. Going to a concert sounds awesome. Yeah, and I really like music. I think about getting into it. You should. I bet you'd be really great. I only hope you don't make anything similar to Justin Bieber. Oh god, no. I wouldn't want to do that. I want to make something similar to rock music. Or maybe pop a little. That's great. I just hope you don't end up getting those emo hairstyles. You look pretty old like this. Oh, I'm not going to go that far. And thanks for the compliment. <laughs> Why are they talking about? Um, did I hear one that said something about a concert? Wait, I hope they're not making any plans. Alright, is everyone ready? Because the boxing match is in 10 minutes. I know I'm ready, Mark. I think you should probably practice more while you still have a chance. I'll show you, little bastard. I'm for sure ready, bro. Me too, but I still don't want to hurt any of them too bad. I know I'm ready. Kicking Calypso's ass won't be so bad. It's great that you're all prepared, but I still hope you all won't get hurt too bad. Especially you, DK. Don't worry, babe. We try our best to come back here with less bruises. Yeah, especially when seeing you in the crowd gets a strength off. Yeah, you can also blow a kiss to each of us. That'll help us better. No, she's gonna blow a kiss to me because she's my girlfriend. Come on, DK. Blowing kisses are harmless. Come on, dude. Stay off the men's girl. It's not cool. Thanks, Funky. No problem. So does that mean she can blow a kiss to me? Okay, let's just go. Seriously, dude. One blow kiss won't hurt. No, but my fist will hurt if you don't back off. Uncle DK, can I talk to you and Candy real quick? Oh, sure, Diddy. Okay, come on, too, if that's okay. Yeah, sure. So what do you want to talk about, little buddy? Well, I want to talk to you about Dixie. Something I think might have happened. Did you kiss her? It's so great, little dude. No, nothing like that happened. Although she might kiss someone else. What do you mean? Well, she was talking to someone on K-Rose team, and I heard them say something about a concert. So I think they might be going to a concert together. What? Oh, Grandma sure that's not what's going to happen. And why would she go out with one of them anyway? Especially when they treat us terrible. Yeah, I saw two club shops in my bed, and I'm pretty sure K wrote to one of his men to put them there. Calm down, you two. I'm pretty sure this is all a big misunderstanding. Maybe she was just talking to him about a concert instead of asking him to go to one. I'm sure that's all it was. Well, that does sound like it could be the case. Yeah, that's probably all it was. It's also a sign you should ask out before it's too late. You know what? You're right, the DK. I should ask her out right now, and she'll probably say yes. See, that's the spirit, and I know she'll say yes. I believe she will too. Me too. And take it somewhere nice and not just anywhere. Kinda of like the time you went on a day at your shop. Dude, you said you were gonna say anything about that. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Guess I'm not the only one who talks about romance with you. <laughs> Alright everyone, this is going to take longer for ourselves to get here. We're going to do things fairly. I don't like to, but at least I get to beat that chipmunk sounding slut tiny. I can fight good, even without the gloves. So I just ready to take down monkeys. Yeah, but I hope my makeup won't get ruined. It's a boxing match, Cass, and I'm pretty sure no amount of makeup can hide your ugliness. Oh, shut up, Fast. Well, now that you're all ready, let's go. Wait, I have to do something real quick. Fuck, this won't take too long. We don't want to look like an incomplete team. Oh, hi, Diddy. Hey, Dixie. I need to talk to you about something. Okay, what is it? Well, I saw you talking to a Kremlin from the other team. Oh, you mean Kip? Oh, that's his name. Yeah, and you were watching us? Yeah, but not like a stalker. I just passed by while I was trying to find the bathroom. Oh, don't worry. I didn't think it like that. But why do you want to talk about me and him? Well... I heard one of you talking about a concert, and I thought you might be going to one with him. Oh no, we were just talking about concerts, not about going to one. Well, I'm glad you had me fully understand the situation. Candy said the exact same thing. Sorry if I was being nosy. It's okay, besides, I wanna go with someone I just met. I'd rather go with you, since I know you well. Oh, well, speaking of that, I want to ask you something really important, and I really hope you say yes. Okay, what is it? Well, I was wondering, if you're not busy next week, well, you... Hey, Dixie. Oh, hey, Kip. What are you doing? I just want to come by and say hi before the boxing match starts. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. We should get going, Diddy. You go. I'll catch up. Okay. Bye, Kip. Bye, Dixie. Man, that girl's really pretty. Yeah, she really is. What are you two talking about anyway? Oh, nothing much. I was just about to ask her something. Oh, were you about to ask her out? Oh, no. Nothing like that. Good, because seeing you get rejected would have been embarrassing. Wait, what? 
Well, I mean, just to look at you. You look a little ten year old who's trying to get his first kiss. Trust me, it would be embarrassing if you ask her out. First of all, I'm 16. And second, you don't even know if that would happen. Besides, it's not like she would go out with you. You really think she would say no to a good looking chat like me? Please, it would be like trying to reject an offer to get $10 million. You must be really arrogant if you think you're just as good as money. Look, when I ask her out after all this, she'll say yes. And then you'll be going home crying in your pillow because you're not as hot as I am. Man, what a dick. It makes me want to watch children sing Jingle Bells. Hello everyone, welcome to the boxy match for this evening. Thank you all for the applause. Now unfortunately, the guy who orchestrated this boxy match got sick, so me and my employees will be taking over as hosts. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm glad to be here too, Mods. Now that you've all met us, let's introduce you all to the participants. First, meet Team 1. And meet Team 2. Now that you all have met the participants, let's get into the boxing match. The first two up are Kitty and Crusher. You may win the big out, kid. We all know who's gonna win here. Just because you're 42 years old doesn't mean you'll win. Oh, you messed up, you little bastard. Yeah, I'm 28, not 42. You look older than that to me. <sighs> now before it starts, the referee will count from three. The security. Oh, right. Sorry, sir. Remind me again why you made him the referee, sir. The original one was busy with family problems. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, no. Kay's getting hurt. Yeah, I hope he doesn't get hurt worse. Don't worry, guys. He's a tough kid. He'll be okay. Maybe. You know, you're not bad, but there's no way you're gonna beat me. So you should just give up, little boy. Well, that won't ever happen, because I won't stop until I win. Well, Mods, looks like the winner of this round is Kitty. You did, Kitty. Yeah, and I almost thought you were going to lose or get hurt. Wow, way to have faith in me, bro. But did you all see how hard I punched him? Yeah, I'm uh, it's like a bunch of ass. Yeah, it was better than seeing Mike Tyson do it. We won't go that far, but it was Ripper. What the hell was that, Crusher? Yeah, you let yourself get beat up by a ten-year-old? He was a little more tougher than I thought, okay? He only punched you three times. Yeah, dude. That's really embarrassing. You damn right it's embarrassing. And we lost the first round because of your weak ass. <sighs> Sorry, Your Majesty. Sorry doesn't make up for the fact that we lost the first round. Now that the first fight is over, let's see the second fight. The next people fight are Tiny and Calypso. You ready to lose, Stick Figure? You ready for payback, witch? The only one getting payback is me, and you'll be the loser on the ground. Please sure smelly dirty winches like you will be on the ground. Oh, you're getting f***ed up for that one, whore. Three, two, one, go. Oh no, Tiny's getting hurt badly. Don't worry, Dixie, I'm sure she'll be okay. Dee's right, she'll be okay. Are you sure? She looks like she isn't doing well. Will you be quiet, kitty? You better give up while you can, precious. Otherwise, I can make you more uglier than you already are. You wish? I mean, you're already ugly to begin with. After I'm done, a stupid little girl like you will be back in your place. Ugh! Whoa, she's doing better. Yeah, I can't believe I almost died at her. She's really determined. Yeah, I'm right. She's like with Morgan out there. She's also hard like her too. You really need to stop simping. Well, it's clear the winner is Tony. Oh, God damn it! Why the hell can't she do better? I don't know, but someone needs to gear off the ring. Clutch, go gear! Yes, kiss. If it makes you feel better, your highness, she probably would have lost anyway, since we can't kick in a boxing match. Why the hell would that make me feel better? If anything, it makes me want to see Calypso get another beatdown. Yeah, it's worse than I did, right, your grace? So I'm trying to escape the fact that you got beat up by a little kid. Can you please not hit me in your eye? I want to be able to watch Sesame Street when I get home. You actually watch Sesame Street. God, how much of a man-child are you? Wait, what's a man-child? Wow. 
Did I think you were that stupid? Hey, I'm not stupid! You literally have the mentality of a five-year-old. It doesn't show that you're slow, I don't know what does. <laughs> We'll have to do as many fights, we have a few more to go, but first, let's give the participants a 10 minute break so they can get their energy back. Alright, is everyone okay? Yeah, but my ears are ringing a little. My nose kinda hurts, but I can still keep going, bro. There's nothing wrong with me, so I know I can keep fighting. Usually your mouth still hurts from when you fall crusher. Chunky, shut up! Well, it's great that you're all okay and that you can keep going, and there's only a few more rounds to go. Yeah, and the next person up is Diddy. Wait, what? Is something wrong, Diddy? Well, I don't know if I'll win, so I think it's best if I sit this one out. Don't worry, Diddy. All you have to do is try your best. DK's right. All you have to do is try your best, even if you don't win. That's saying that you won't win. <laughs> yeah, and besides, you haven't fought anyone yet, so you have to do it anyway. Alright, I'll do it. Besides, I might win. See, that's the spirit. Oh, you be so dark. All I need you to do was beat those lame monkeys in a boxing match, and you couldn't even do that! Yeah, what's wrong with you all? You got beat up too! Well, you got beat up by a midget. Stop bickering! You both got beat up, God! Well, I did well, your majesty. There's gotta be worth something. I mean, I guess you did put in some effort, but the rest of you were failures! Anyway, who's supposed to be next? I think I am. Well, you better win this for us, otherwise we'll look even more bad! Don't worry, your highness. I can do better than these clowns. Please, the only thing you'll achieve is being the youngest obese Kremlin there is. First of all, I'm only 200, and second, I'm big boned. That's what a bunch of fat people say. Will you all stop getting off topic? Now that the participants had their 10 minute break, let's get back to seeing them fight each other. It only felt like 5 minutes. Anyway, the next two fighting are Diddy and Kip. No our feelings when you lose, little steward. No our feelings when you're wrong, fat Albert. I'm not fat, shorty. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh no, Diddy's not doing too well. Yeah, and he didn't even get that many punches in. I think I should go up there and check on him, just to make sure he's okay. That's a great idea, Dixie, and a little encouragement can also help him as well. Hopefully, I'll round up like Louis Cornell. <laughs> Are you okay? Dixie, what are you doing up here? I just came to see if you're okay because me and the others are really worried. Well, that's nice, but don't worry. I'll be fine. You ready to get your ass kicked some more? Are you sure? I just want to make sure you're okay. And the others want to know too. <laughs> don't worry. I'll be okay. Just share me on while you're with the others. Alright, but just remember to try your best and give her your all. Because I know you can win this. I will. Thanks, Dixie. No problem. You ain't looking too good. You should probably quit while you can. Like that don't happen. Huh, he's actually doing well. Maybe he'll get us a win after all. Maybe, but I won't be surprised if he blows it. Are you saying that because you lost your one in pink? No, and I just couldn't see what when I was against her. You seriously can't expect us to believe that little bullcrap. Ugh. Face it, D. You don't say a chance against me. <coughs> don't get... Too confident. Why not? You're not the one standing and feeling proud. Now, how about you just sit there and let me finish you off? Then I'll take Dixie out. She'll enjoy it so much, she won't even remember a sad and nerdy loser like you exist. <laughs> what the hell? He's winning! And the winner is Diddy! You did it, Diddy! Yeah, I knew you could do it, Diddy. Thanks, Sixty, and thank you all for believing in me. Well, not exactly, because we thought you were going to lose at first. I'll take it for what it's worth. I'm so really proud of you for setting you up for yourself, Diddy. Me too. I'm so proud that you won, honey. Thanks, guys. That really means a lot. But can someone please give me bandages and maybe an ice pack? Don't worry. I'll get you some bandages. Thanks. <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you, Kip? You lost to a midget! Yeah, are you and Cass both weak as hell? Hey, don't you dare compare me to Tubbs over there! <coughs> I didn't think he was that tough. Well, because you thought he wasn't so tough, we well, lost. And now we only have one more chance to win this. Oh. Oh, indeed, asshole. God, this is more worse than watching another episode of Teen Titans Go. Yeah, you missed a big time, Kip. You still lost to a little boy. Yeah, so you're both disappointments in a way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally made it to the three-part round finale. 
be cured for the applause. But that's not all. The two people who will be fighting in the finale are Donkey Kong and King Cruxton Road. Well, they expect the crowd to be this excited. Hopefully after the boxing match, we'll have a ton of money. I'm pretty sure we will, sir. This is one of my brilliant ideas. Although they're probably mostly cheering for DK. They probably are. I will let us if we can get some of their saliva to keep in our jaw. That is too much information, Ricky. I agree with you, see. That's too much. Well, looks like I'm up for the three-part finale. Wish me luck, guys. Of course we will, honey. And here's a good luck kiss, too. <laughs> Thanks, babe. I really wish I was one getting that look at us. Me too. Me three. Me four, dude. I'm too calm for that kiss to get married you guys right now. Alright, everyone. It's up to me to win this boxing match. No damn surprise. But I'm pretty sure you all have boxing is really done. Um, Your Majesty, why did you choose to wear that? What do you mean? I picked this up because it makes me look sexy. I wasn't about to wear shoes and shorts like regular ass boxers. I most definitely win you sexy in that sense. Screw your pink ass! Ignore them, your majesty. I think it looks great on you. Kiss ass. Well, oh, thank you, clump. At least someone here can see I have good fashion sense. Yeah, sure. Now let's see which participant will win part one of the final boxing match. He can will may come up on the stage. <laughs> hey, what the hell is so funny? Dude, why did you pick out that outfit? Because it makes me look sexy. Duh. <laughs> Carol, that big onesie does not make you look sexy. Believe me. You won't be like it for long once I beat your hairy ass. <laughs> yeah, sure. Three, two, one, go. You go, honey. Yeah, you can do it, DK. Yeah, bro, you got this. Yeah, but where was this when I was in the ring march? You got not to have you first punched him. It lasted as long as that Monarch series from Fox. Oh, screw you, you little asshole. <laughs> and the winner is DK. You did it, honey. Yeah, that was amazing, Uncle DK. Thanks, CD. Thanks, babe. Yeah, that was awesome, DK. The yeah, dude's right. I hate the part where you knocked him down. It was like totally sick. Dicks, man. I was surprised the stage didn't shake when I knocked him down. <laughs> that would have been fun to see, cuz. So, about you showing us how boxing is really done? Oh, shut up, peasant. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the second part of the final round. Well, guys, looks like I'm going to the second round. Yeah, and I know you'll win the second round, honey. Yeah, I can't wait to see you kick Carol fast again. It'll probably be funnier than seeing Lanky get knocked out. Oh, stop bringing that up, you little bastard. Can't believe I'm saying this, but he does have a point. It was funny. Where are you, Tal? Come on, those bigger gloves here already. I'm sorry, Majesty, but those gloves won't be here anytime soon. What? Yeah, the crews realized they forgot them on the island, so it's going to take them a while to get them here. Ah, why are you going to wait for me? Wait, I have another idea. And next year we can go put Lily on the stage without getting caught, your highness. Not that. We can do Clump's idea and give me steroids to boost my strength. Oh no, we're talking. I don't know, your majesty. Doesn't that stuff seem a little dangerous? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it makes you a bit angry. You think I care about that? I'm trying to be that dumbass Bigfoot so I can get that middle belt. Now, Clump, give me the steroid. Now. Yes, your highness. Oh boy. <laughs> Now that the two of them had their breaks, let's get back to seeing when them win the second part of the final round. You should know that I'm gonna win from now on. Need I remind you of the first round? Oh, you'll see. Three, two, one, go! What the hell? Huh, maybe that stairway idea wasn't bad. What the hell was that? That was me proving that I have the upper hand. Like hell you do. Honeycomb's getting hurt. Don't worry, Candy. I'm sure he has something else in mind. It doesn't look like he got something else in the Mart. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it looks like the winner is K Roll. <laughs> Are you okay, sweetie? Not exactly, but I'll be fine. What happened out there, Uncle DK? One moment you were winning, and next you were getting beat up. I don't know, but he felt stronger. Like a lot stronger. Now that you mention it, he did seem like he had more strength than before. Yeah, that does seem weird. Yes, I knew that steroid was a good idea. 
Yeah, I guess you were right. That was honestly surprising how you beat his ass so fast. Well, it still really has fast boost the adrenaline in it, so that would explain it. But it was funny seeing that loser get his ass handed to him. I know, right? And it's even better when you didn't see it coming. Oh, that's always the best. Well, everyone, looks like we finally made it to the finale of the final round of the boxing match. Thank you all for the applause, and for coming here as well. And before we get into the finale, let's get a participant a break so they can warm up and get ready. Okay guys, since I feel a lot better, I hope I can win this boxing match. I'm more worried that you might get hurt again. I was really worried in the last round. Don't worry my sweetness, I try a lot better to not get hurt this time. Are you sure? That didn't go so well in the last round. Dude, I'm trying to make my woman feel better, not make her feel even more worried. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I'll always trust you, DK. And I know you can win this. <laughs> Thanks, Candy. I still wish it was me getting that kiss, my Where are we, Winky? Okay, let's be for real. I'm gonna win this. We definitely agree with that, your viciousness. Yep, as long as there's steroids in my system, nothing can stop me. Glad you don't know. What if steroid drug gets out of my disease system? We didn't ask for your opinion, dumbass. Now time for me to get that ape out of my way so I can get that belt. Now that the week is over, let's see the final part of the final round of the boxing match. Well, I chance to drop out and let me win. I mean, you want to get your ass beat a second time. Forget that. I want to stay here and win this boxing match and beat your ass while I'm at it. Huh. Yeah, right. That's like saying you'll bring back Jerry Springer. But don't worry. This beat down won't last long, sadly. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, no. Dicker's not doing so well. He'll probably think of something. I don't know. Even I'm starting to feel unsure about DK. I agree with Diddy. DK can do this. We just need to believe in him. Oh no, looks like DK's not doing too well. Maybe he'll lose. Oh no, he's getting hurt worse. Yeah, maybe he should get out of the ring. He'll probably be okay afterwards. No, he can win this. He's brave, heroic, and strong. He just needs a little help. Wow, he's coming in fast. Too bad I'm about to stop him. Wait, why do I feel like my strength is slipping away? <gasps> oh no. Ah! The hell? He's winning! Ugh, god damn it! How do they always manage to win? Yeah, it's more frustrating than hearing people talk crap about that new Velma series. Wait, isn't she black in that series? Looks like the one out of this boxing match is Donkey Kong the God. You won, honey. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, Candy. Although I could have done it without that kiss you blew to me. That was amazing, DK. The other one's right, Ma. You are a hell of a lot better than Mike Tyson out there. Oh, it was really that good? Yeah, you were incredible, Uncle DK. Dude's right. You were like sick out there, bro. Yeah, and we almost thought Cable would win. Thank God we were wrong. I was almost this close to losing a bet of $60. And because I wanted you to win too, DK. Wow, someone's greedy. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you didn't give up on me. I'm glad you're all my friends. No problem, Uncle DK. So what did you get for winning the boxing match? You're giving me a belt that's worth 300k. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, can I borrow it? I know someone can give us a quid for it. We're not going to sell this stuff, dude. Oh, come on, ma. It doesn't want a quid. We can buy a bunch of booze and me a new house with that. I'm 10, so I don't drink beer. Well, then we'll buy you some cool light on. Hey, DK. I just came by to say congratulations on winning the boxing match. Thanks, sir. I didn't really expect that from you. Yes, I guess you're not completely dense. He's not dense at all. Yeah, sure. Hey, what about us, sir? We did good in the ring, too. Yeah, we did good in the ring. You got yourself knocked out by some fat reptile. Yeah, and that punch you do didn't seem like you put much effort into it. Ugh, assholes. Speaking of you all, why those two little ones didn't fix that? I'm not sure. You know, I'm really proud of Uncle DK. He did really great. Yeah, I'm proud of him too. But I'm actually more proud that you won. Really? Because I wasn't doing so well at first. Yeah, but you beat his ass in the last minute, so that's gotta be worth something. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, when we were in the building, I wanted to- Hey, Dixie. Oh, hey, Kip. Yeah, hey. I just came to tell you how cool you were in the boxing match, and I'm glad that you won. Um, thank you, I guess. Wasn't that your sister she was fine? Yeah, but she's annoying anyway. Anyway, do I get something to eat? I'm only here for 40 more minutes. Uh, 
Thanks, but I'm good. What? Why? Well, I'm enjoying my time with Diddy, and I'm not going to leave him like I'm throwing away some half found for another. Oh, come on. It'll be a lot more fun to hang out with this loser. Hey, he's not a loser. Based on the way he sounds and looks, I disagree. Well, I'd rather hang out with him than some rude asshole who thinks he's better than everyone. You cannot be serious. Yes, I am. That's your cue to leave, if you didn't know. Ugh, fine, I'll go. I don't need you anyway. And you can forget about getting into music because you suck at it anyway. Sorry about him. I can't believe I thought he was a nice guy. It's okay. I thought his sister was good in the fashion show, but you know how that went. I guess his proofs are more alike than they come off. Yeah. Anyway, you wanted to ask me something before he came here? Yeah. Well, I wanted to ask you something really important, and I would have gotten around to it if there wasn't so many interruptions. But first, I want to say I really enjoy hanging out with you, and I think you're cool and very pretty. And I was wondering if you're not doing anything next week, would you like to go on a date with me? Are, are you asking me out? Um, yeah? Well, then, yes, I'm free next week, and i really love to go on a date with you, Diddy. Alright, awesome. I can't wait to see you next week. Yeah, me too. Good job, little buddy. What the? Were you three seriously spying on us this entire time? A little, but we didn't say anything because we didn't want to ruin the moment. Yeah, it was so cute. I'm really happy for you, sis. Thank you, but it could have been better if you three weren't spying on us like creeps. I completely agree. Aw, it's cute how you both agree with each other. I know, right? I want to post this on InstaLeak so bad. <sighs> <sighs> Why the hell am I losing to that Bigfoot dumbass? Seriously, that robot idea failed, I lost in the fashion show, and now this? I know, they're all so annoying. They made me want to watch some stupid Barbie toy commercial. Yeah, and I actually wanted to date one of them. I tried the same thing. Ditching me for that little pipsqueak. Well, they won't win next time. I'll tell you that. What do you mean, your highness? Oh, you'll know. You all will know soon.